Hello everyone, it's Max here, and you may recognise this place as... Yes, there is a solar panel. Um, so if you haven't seen the video about that solar setup, um, budget one, literally it cost me a five, but it could cost anyone else definitely easy under 50 quid. Um, check the card up here. It was nice and sunny yesterday morning, but I got distracted and then had to go to a friend, so that didn't happen. Uh, and also other crap happened, so yeah, it wasn't the best morning. The weather was good though, and now the weather's not good this morning, and I'm trying to do this. But anyway, let's do it anyway. So obviously I'm not pulling in that much solar, but this solar panel is bloody good. Even though it's only 30 watts, it's good. Like, if you want a budget solar panel, get this one. If I can find it, I'll link it in the description and also you can go check out that video where I explain more about it and the whole setup itself. So, this video was um, suggested by Power Marge and I also had the idea of doing it anyway but um, he just confirmed that it's definitely interesting. So, I'll be doing that now. But, so, this is basically where I stay because uh, he commented on the last video about that saying, oh, what's this? So. Um, here it is, and it is a customised bow top um, built by some person um, who lives near here. But uh, it basically is owned to the owner of this land, which is the neighbours. And uh, yeah, it's really nice. Uh, it's nice and small. I don't think this back wall is insulated because I always feel the cold because the bed's just here. Uh, but other than that, I think it's really nice because you've got all of this that's insulated in here. You've got a nice little wood, wood burner. It's looking nice. Um, and then the solar panel, obviously, which I've added. You've got all like the traditional narrowboat style painting stuff, which is really nice. Uh, and it's on an actual like uh, horse chassis, but it's got a normal tow hook on the end there. Um, this is what I use for the battery box, but it's like for putting heavy stuff in. So when you're in transit, it's not on the top, it's on the bottom, heavy stuff. Uh, and then that box on the front is for the battery. But if you want to know more about it, like I said, the video will be in the description. Um, yeah, so it's really nice all around here. You've got a little window up here. And this side's just about the same, and it's just that. In here, you have a plug socket for connecting to, it's basically a multiway in there, and you just connect that in, and then you have power through the multiway. There's a gas hose, but I'm not using that at the moment. I need to plug that in. Um, that's the battery. And then, round here, you have the water inlet and the water outlet is just there and it just goes onto the floor. See there. Okay, and then moving round to the front, you've got two little things here and here, and then you walk in to the door and voila. So, in here, there's a little mat that is level with the carpet, but you can take it out as well. So that's useful. So I sweep the floor onto here and then take the rug out. I've got my coal bucket there. So these rails are quite good because this tap, basically, when you use it, um, it spews water out the side. Um, you can kind of see some streaks there. Um, so this is really useful for drying the cloth because I have to use it every time I use the tap and then just to keep a jumper warm it's always useful put my hat there as well so my hat's nice and warm I got this old camera light I've got a new camera light um, I'll show it and that was I used that quite often at first um, and then I got the solar and then I was a bit worried about using it so I didn't want to drain it so I still use that a lot but now I'm just confident I'll just leave that on Solar's on 11.9, which is quite average for it, to be fair. Uh, we did have a good day of sun, and it got it up to 12.9, uh, 
and didn't go down below 12 for like a whole day and I was charging everything uh, even when the sun wasn't in it was still 12 the next 12.1 the next morning which is quite unusual um, so let's start with the kitchen first so there's lots of cabinets but as it goes in at the bottom that's how deep the cabinets are because that's an outside so they're not very deep but still put some little things in there I got this one here that is a uh, or toothbrush and tea thing <laughs> only because there's a saucer in there so it just stops it from going on the wood uh, and then this is the tea cupboard which is very very essential you've got normality, Earl Grey, red berry infusion, a load of non-caffeinated tea different types, uh, milk in a honey jar and then a teapot so there's the tour of my cupboard no other ones are filled apart from this one that's none of my stuff so there's stuff back there as well uh, this is the stove that doesn't have the gas line hooked up we're going to do that though because these gas cylinders are really expensive uh, but yeah that's just got in there in fact it's almost dead as well there's the tea of course there's a little mirror in case you didn't know I do love tea but there's there's the light you can see it now it's got my lens cap on the end but uh, it's got a little switch here a dial and you can dim it and it also switches it off and it gets really bright as well but I'm just using it at a, at a minimal brightness just to take the shadows away um, so this is the tap, it's a hand pump tap and then water comes outside when you do it I've got a teaspoon and a joystick holder using a doorknob and uh, another thing um, so that's that and then I have lighter for lighting the burner and the plug for the thing uh, there's more cupboards that also don't have anything in then there's a bin some blackout curtains that are really nice along with some other ones so you people can't see in as well uh, and you, you can see out and stuff and then you can do that and it's really blackout basically um, then let's go on to this side obviously this is the wood burner and I've got lots of kindling down here um, the lovely burner um, and then it's got this little cool thing on here and yes because the coals are wet I'm drying them um, it's got this little ring here to make it big enough to fit the kettle because obviously it overhangs loads so it just keeps it on this little copper rod uh, I don't know what that is but it's just a bit of aluminium bent round really that's all it is uh, next is this little L shaped sofa and it's kind of my bedside table at the same time uh, there's a 12 volt socket down there where I can put that in charge my phone or at the moment I've just got this DC jack that's actually doing nothing at the moment uh, I've got a laptop here's all my clothes stacked up and then I've got camera bag no tripod bag and camera bag and then school bag and a little speaker which isn't amazing but down because it's got no bass but down there it brings out the bass because obviously it's lower down so it's all right down there uh, this splits about there so well over halfway if you can see that um, and then it goes on top of this one you can push it back and then you get a sofa but I just don't bother and also with these cushions here they don't go all the way back they only go back about halfway back there there's the little multiway by the way uh, and then you can put them on the edge here they're like half the width of the bed and then it brings it out the rest of that way so that you can pull it out more and have a fully double bed but I just have like a single bed and that's that's fine for me um, there's the charge controller for the solar I've also got some USBs up there and a 12 volt socket that runs along here to the light which is all about the 12 volt video and yeah so the carpet's nice apart from when you live in a field and you come in you literally have to always keep shoes there uh, but it does mean you can walk in socks here and it's nice and warm I would prefer a rug there um, so I hope this is an interesting video if any of you really wanted to hear about it uh, also I just want to mention when you look down it, it's just like really really cool like all of these have been hand put in and everything and then you got this really nice fabric 
So I think it's a really nice place. Yeah, that's the wall that I don't think is insulated because it's just always really cold and got condensation on. And it's the same slats as the outside, so it's most likely the same wood. So I hope this video has been interesting to you lot, and if it has, um, I'll do more like it of something. I need to do a tour of my shed actually, because that's that's something I'm always in at the moment. I'm doing loads of shed upgrades. I was going to do a video about the shed upgrades, but I ended up just doing them and then realised I hadn't filmed it, so it was too late for that. Uh, so if you did enjoy this video, remember smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, uh, hit that bell icon as well, and I'll see you in the next video next Wednesday.